Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Impact Today. My name is Mark. This is my lovely wife, Victoria. We are so happy you joined us. We're excited about the Word of God and what it can do in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we get started, we want to encourage you to visit our website at globalimpactministries.com. There you can find all of the episodes that we've ever recorded for Impact Today, as well as you can subscribe to our podcast if you, want, if you prefer to listen to Impact Today while you're busy doing your work instead of stopping to watch it on TV. Um, God is doing great things. Amen. And His Word is powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are going to be talking about divine healing. Yes. It's the spiritual cure. Mm -hmm. Medical science is a physical cure or help for, because medical science can't cure everything. Right. But medical science is used to help people with sickness and disease. It's physical. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes people get the two confused. Yeah. Um, somebody will be treated by medical science and people will say, when the people person gets better, people will say, oh, it's a miracle. Well, it's actually not a miracle. Right. Mm -hmm. It is in the sense that God created our bodies and our bodies are miracles. Mm -hmm. Our bodies are created to heal, mm -hmm. right? And God has given man knowledge to be able to use medical science to help. So if you want to look at it in the broad sense like that, you could say you at least see God's hand in it. Right. But we're talking about uh, divine healing where it's actually God healing you. Yes. There's no other involvement. Yeah. And I'm not saying don't use doctors. Many people use a combination of medical science, adding their faith to it. God's intervention is in there and they get the desired you know, end result. The important thing is that you get well and that you live. Right. But we just want to differentiate medical. There's medical science mm -hmm. and then there's divine healing. Now, with medical science, m many times. Medication or medicine is administered to the physical body. Oh, this is what's wrong with you here. Take this medicine. It will cure you. Or in some cases, we can't cure you, but take this medicine, it will alleviate the symptoms, right? That's with the medical science. With divine healing, the word of God is administered Amen. to the human spirit. So medical science, medicine is administered to the body. Divine healing... The word of God is administered to the human spirit. Now, how does that happen? I mean, the spirit of a man, the spirit of a person is right here mm -hmm. in the belly. Here's the word of God. Mm -hmm. what, how do I get it in there? Right? We got to get the word of God into our spirit, man. How does this happen? Psalm 107. Yeah. Psalm 107 verse 20 says... He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Right. He sent his word. Yeah. And the word healed them. Yeah. The word of God will heal you. So how do we get that word into our spirits? So many of you might be thinking, well, what does putting the word of God in my spirit have anything to do with my physical body? Well, let me throw this at you. Uh, James chapter 2 verse 26 says this, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So what's happening in your spirit greatly affects your body. Mm. 
Because if you take the human spirit out of the body, the body dies. Right. So there's a great connection. So when you take the healing word of God, the healing power of God, the anointing of God, and place it in the human spirit, the overflow is going to affect wow. the body. That's really good. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. Your body is great. It's dependent upon your human spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why if you have a broken spirit, it's going to affect your body. If you have a sick spirit, it's going to affect your body. Well, there's even a scripture that says a broken spirit dries the bones. Yeah, that's right. That shows a connection right there. Amen. Wow. That's really good. Praise God. So Proverbs 4 verse 20 through 22 shows us specifically how we get the word of God into our spirit. Amen. Listen to this carefully. Proverbs 4 verse 20. It says, my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health or medicine to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it, the heart, spring the issues of life. Praise God. So Amen. the way that we get the word of God into our hearts is just what it says. Give it our full attention. Yeah. Incline your ear to my sayings. Incline, when you incline your ear, you lean in to listen. Mm -hmm. So you're paying attention and you're leaning in. Mm -hmm. You're also humbling yourself. Yeah when you incline your ear, yeah. it's from a place of humility. Do not let them depart from your eyes. That means you're always looking at them. Mm -hmm. Keep them in the midst of your heart. That means you're always pondering them, meditating on them. Why? For they are life to those who find them. And health, or like you pointed out, medicine. Mm -hmm to all their flesh. So if God's word is life mm -hmm. and I'm facing death, it might be a good idea to get as much life in me as possible, right? That's right. That's right. You know, so many times you, you go to visit someone in the hospital who's battling something. Serious. Something serious. And you walk in and you know, they just have some garbage on the TV. Mm-hmm playing all day or mm. whatever and you think man or it might not even be garbage but it's not life but it's not it's not going to produce anything right right i mean if you're in a desperate situation you know and you're facing death or something that's chronic lay everything aside right believe the word get in it put it in you knowing that all I have to do is get it inside of me and I will be well. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God's word is health to all their flesh, medicine to all your flesh. That would include... Eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Ears. Ears. Kidneys, livers, hearts, lungs, fingers. Toes. Toes. Oh, hallelujah. Every part. Amen. All your flesh. Yeah. All your flesh. Now, that's that's interesting because um, medicine is made and it targets this part. Mm -hmm. You have to have a specific medication and it will affect this part and another specific medication to affect this part. But God's word is medicine to all your flesh. And not only that. It's creative. Mm. And man, I've heard of situations where someone got a hold of a, a series on the subject of faith, teaching, anointed teaching of the Word of God. And they didn't have any fingers. Mm. And they just kept listening and listening and listening till eventually they had fingers. That's amazing. Yeah. What? Well, God said, let there be, and there was His Word. What did He do? When He spoke, it was His Word. And so God's word, it heals and it's creative. creative. If you're missing a body part, 
Did you know God's powerful word can restore that body part? Amen. You say, well, how in the world is that possible? Mm -hmm. All things are possible to him who believes. Yes. And God's word puts faith on the inside of you. Anything is possible. Remove the boundaries. Remove the limitations. You are connected to almighty God who created the heavens and the earth. A kidney's no big deal for him. A finger, an eyeball. If you've lost because of breast cancer, a breast, if you've had to have your foot amputated, it doesn't matter. God can do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we yes. have. Yes. Amen. So God's word will heal your body, but it's by spiritual means. Yes. Healing can be received into the human spirit through the word of God, and then it permeates the physical body. So you receive it into your spirit mm -hmm. and then it's outworking shows up in your physical body. Just as you take your medicine, you must receive God's word. It's supernatural. Mm -hmm. Now, if we believe it, we're actually going to do it. Yeah. Right? right. If we really believe that God's word is medicine and it will heal us then we're going to take our medicine. Amen. So let's say you have an infection in your throat yeah. and you go to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you have strep throat. Here's an antibiotic. The antibiotic has directions on it. Take one pill three times a day for 10 days until they're all gone. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what do you do? I, I remember, uh, occasionally having getting an antibiotic for one of our kids mm -hmm. when they were little. And what do you do? Oh, three times a day means every eight hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, we set our alarm clock yeah. to get up at the right time to make sure our son had his medication at the right time. Mm -hmm. And um, not only that, but, you know, they might start feeling better after three days. Fever's leaving, mm -hmm. feeling much better. But what do you do? No, no, the doctor said make sure you take it three times a day for 10 days. It's only been three days. It's only been four days. We're going to follow the directions. Yeah. We're going to take our medicine. And, you know, we believe it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And we do it. And it works. Yeah, and so we should give the Word of God at least the same place in our lives. You yeah. know, if someone takes an antibiotic three times a day, every eight hours. For 10 days. Yeah, for 10 days. But you know, you kind of glance your, at your Bible every other day for a couple minutes. You're not going to, you're not really doing what the Bible says here. Mm -hmm. And so if you do that, you really should not expect divine healing to come into you, mm. which you might, rec you know, thank God for the medicine. Right. The problem is what if you have a situation or a, a disease or a sickness in which they cannot help you? They can help you treat maybe the symptoms and relieve the pain for a bit, but you're still sick. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're going to have a problem. But the good news is you don't have to have a problem. You can get into the word of God because God's no respecter of persons. He said, and he cannot lie, my son, give attention to my words. Mm. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. That means your mind, your heart, your, your ears, and your mouth are filled with the word of God. Amen. Amen. You're, you're, you're paying attention to it with your mind. You're absorbing it with your heart. You're listening to it. You're speaking it. You're looking at it. You're, you're saturating your life with the word. And if you do, it says, he cannot lie. It says, they are life to those who find them. Hmm. Health to all their flesh. Now, you might know a scripture. You might have it memorized, but that doesn't mean you found it. Mm. But when you find it, 
when it's real on the inside of you, it, it affects every part of your life. Amen. Now, a medicine, as she had stated, you know, if it can help you, if it can fix the problem, it might be one part of your body. And often it comes with side effects. Yeah. And it costs money. If, it's in, if you're in America, it costs a lot of money. But guess what? The good news is the word of God, it costs you one thing, your time. Mm. Time. And everybody has the same amount of time. Hallelujah. Now God's word comes with side effects. It does. <laughs> Woo. Not only does it heal all your flesh, the purpose of God's word is fellowship with the Father. Yes. Fellowship with the Lord Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. So not only are you healed, the process is even greater. Mm -hmm. Righteousness, peace, peace joy. joy. In the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Those are great side effects. Amen. And Stability and, and strength. And peace is something, peace, supernatural peace, is something that money cannot buy. Mm. Amen. Amen. You could take a loan out for 10 billion U.S. dollars. That will not buy you peace. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Think, I mean, this is just the truth. It is. All right. So there's no side effects with the Word of God. Yes, there is. Well, good side effects. There's no negative <laughs> yeah, side there's effects. There's only good side effects. You know, I, there's a lot of people who watch this program in all, all kinds of different nations. We know because of the phone calls that come. So I don't know how it is in your country, but in our country, it's unbelievable. The amount of commercials there are for medication. No, it's not like that in other If countries. you try to watch a program, almost all the, the commercials are like this pharmaceutical drug, then this medicine, then this. And you watch it and they're talking about how great it is. But then at the end it says, may cause this, 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 this. And it keeps going. It's like, I don't want that. It's true. I don't may want cause, that. I don't want to pay the money for that. May cause constipation and diarrhea. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah. if you have suicidal thoughts, yeah. contact your doctor. Yeah. And it's treating depression. You know, yeah. this will help your depression. May cause suicide thoughts. <laughs> and so what it is, is you, you know, you have to buy this medicine to get, take care of this, but it's causing this symptom. So you get this medicine to fix the symptoms for this. And then you get, or the side effects of this. And then you have this medicine over here to help alleviate the side effects for this. And my friends, the word of God <laughs> is free. It just yes. costs you time. Put it inside of you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Put it inside of you and you'll have life, peace, joy. joy. And what's the purpose of what we're talking about right now? Health and healing. Praise God. I'm so thankful for this word. Yes. Hallelujah. And the greatest thing this word gives, it gives the message of what Jesus Christ, the Son mm. of God, accomplished for you and me when he died on the cross, including mm. healing. The Bible says when he went to the cross, he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. 1 Peter 2.24 says, He Himself bore our sins in His own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you, you were, were healed. healed. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Bible says, To as many as received Him, to them He gives the right to become the children of God. Have you become a child of God? Mm -hmm. You have if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have not, right now is your moment. Today is the day of salvation. Now, now. is the accepted time. Mm -hmm. It's the day. It's the acceptable year of the Lord. God is saying, come to me. I love you. I accept you. My son died for you. His blood was shed for you. Now we can be reconciled. We can be at peace. Your sins can be washed away. You can become my child. If you want to do that, 
I want to encourage you right now to stop what you're doing. If you can, lift up your hands and close your eyes and surrender your heart to Christ and say this after me right now. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. I acknowledge. I acknowledge. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. But I believe. But I believe. The price has been paid. The price has been paid. My guilt. My guilt. My shame. My shame. My judgment. My judgment. Were all laid on Jesus. Were all laid on Jesus. I believe that. I believe that. His blood. His blood was shed, was shed for the remission of my sin. For the remission of my and sin. And you raised him from the dead. And you raised him from the dead. Because I've been justified. Because I've been justified. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Therefore, therefore, I confess. I confess. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Is Lord. My Lord. My Lord. I receive him. I receive as him. my Savior. As my Savior. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Come. Come. Live. Live inside of me. Inside of me. Give me a brand new heart. Give me a brand new heart. Wash away my sin. Wash away my sin. I turn from all of them. I turn from all and of I them. And I put my life. And I put my life in your hands. In your hands. I am yours. I am yours. You are mine. You are mine. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. If you just prayed to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we want to hear from you. So please call the number on your screen and tell somebody about it. We want you to know that if you pray that from your heart, all your sins are washed away. You become brand new. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, Father, we ask you right now to heal yes. everyone who's watching. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that these words are coming alive on the inside thank of them. You, Your power is working in their inward man. And we thank you. It's healing their bodies. In, in the Jesus name of Jesus, name. I thank you for the flow of the power Amen. of the Spirit of God. We thank you, Lord, that people are being healed. Body parts are being restored. Minds are being renewed. People are filled with joy. Yes. People are filled with joy and laughter. There are shouts of rejoicing happening in people's homes. Even now, in Jesus' name, Thank we give you, you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise glory God. To God. Well, we serve a wonderful God, a beautiful Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, until next time. Do what we said. Get in this word. Yes. It's changing your life forever. In Jesus' name, God bless. Tell us what happens with your, your daughter. <laughs> A child, a child has three years that she has been convulsing. Having epileptic seizures. This has been continuing, she has no breath. Every day, every day, throughout daily. Not even just one hour, but throughout every day. Even her uh, head comes down and a lot of injuries in her body. If there are people here who could see her, they would say, Oh, this is her
with Global Impact Ministries, you are sowing into miracle festivals and pastors' conferences, resulting in multitudes being saved and healed, churches planted, and revival. You're sowing into the liberation of enslaved, persecuted Christians in the brick kilns of Asia. You're sowing into this broadcast, which is aired around the world, seeing many saved, healed, and encouraged, and so much more. Become a partner and sow your best seed today. <laughs> 